what's up YouTube? Hey, just wanted to share with you guys some uh, life hacks or BMX hacks or whatever you want to call them for some of the stuff that I've learned over the years and some of the stuff that I've actually seen online recently that really seemed to work. So let's get right to it. All right, first thing I wanted to address, throttle grip. Everybody hates it. Um, best thing that I have learned to do is I will put on my grips with WD-40. Okay, so you put your grips on with WD-40, but you ran out of WD-40, dad won't let you borrow it no more. He thinks you're uh, using it too much. So try this. Um, I mean, if you've got some deodorant, a spray on de deodorant or something like that, spray this into your grips, slide them on and let it dry. It should dry pretty quickly because it is alcohol based and your hands will smell pretty cool. Anyway, a uh, good, good thing to have handy. You know, most people got uh, some deodorant or something like that. You can also use hairspray, but um, both of these, they don't take too long to dry. And once they're dry, your grips stay pretty sticky. Okay, so you got a flat. This sucks. But you got a flat because you had a hole in your tire. So I'm gonna show you a hack how to prevent that hole in your tire from ruining your day. So you wanna take the tire off of the bead. I'm gonna take You want to take the tube out. Get the tire all the way off. Which is going to take a little bit of manhandling, but. There we go. Alright, so you got your tire off, okay? Now you want to look on the inside and find out where that hole is at, especially if that's what's causing where your tire is at. Also, you know, if you've got a thorn in your in your tire or something like this, this is a good way just to check it. You might actually want to use gloves while doing this in case it's something sharp. But uh, you want to check it. Say for instance you got a hole and it's either on the sidewall or it's on the top or something like this, you can use this. A dollar. See how sturdy a dollar is? Believe it or not, dollars are made of denim. Same thing your jeans are made of. So they're very durable. Place this on the inside of your tire. Say you got a hole right here. Place it on the inside of your tire, right where the hole is at. Make sure it stays in there. You might even want to tape it in there, but usually the pressure of the tube will keep it in there. Then just put your new tube back in there. Make sure you put a little bit of air in it first because that way it'll keep its shape, but not too much. Put your tube back in there. Make sure that dollar stays in place. And once you've got it in place, you're good to go and that'll at least get you home. Okay, hack, I guess number three, but um, just another little thing. Most rims come with rim strips. This one comes with it already, but if you don't have a rim strip and yours got broken or something like that, they're not easy to find, but most everybody's got some tape somewhere. So let me show you real quick. Okay, so you got your electrical tape or duct tape, you can use either or. Um, you want to take and start start from where the hole is at. Okay, and leave that hole open, all right? So, you start from there. Okay, so you, you've started from where the hole is at. And then you want to keep going around and pushing it in as you go. Making sure that you're covering those holes where your spokes go. So you don't want your spokes. What's causing you to get a flat is your tires expanding into those holes and then it gets pinched and causes you to get a flat. So you want to make sure you get all that covered 
and you may even want to do two layers. With electrical tape, it's a little thinner than duct tape, so you may actually want to do two, two layers of electrical tape, just overlapping each layer. Then when you get back to the hole, remember don't cover the hole. Snap it off, and there you have it. You got you a new rim strip, and you didn't have to go and try and find one at the bike shop or Walmart or something like that. Okay, so you're trying to figure out how your pedals go on, and you've got them, you know which one is left and which one is right because they're already marked, but you can't remember if they thread forward or thread backwards. Here's the key, okay? If you pedal forward, that is the direction they go. So you hold your wrench on there, pedal forward, and that tightens it. And it makes sense because when you crank down on your, on your cranks, if you were to crank down forward and it went the opposite direction, you would actually be loosening it every time you crank forward. So they made them reverse thread so that when, or at least one side reverse thread, so that when you're cranking forward, it's actually tightening it every time. Okay, so you got a loose chain or your chain got out of the line because you did grind or something like that. Here is a cool tip and it actually helps if this is kind of full. Stick this down inside between your wheel and your frame, okay? Lines everything up. Make sure you got everything lined up, okay? It will keep your chain tight and it will give you hands-free. It's where you don't have to ask your buddy to uh, come over and hold your tire. So you just stick the water bottle down in there and it actually helps if it has a little bit of water in it. And then tighten one side. And then, of course, tighten the other. Okay, so you're having a problem with your handlebars and they're moving. Say you got some brand new handlebars and they've got paint still on here. What you wanna do is you wanna take some sandpaper and you wanna, you wanna scuff all that paint off. This one already has it off of there, which is good, and it has some knurling on the handlebars, so that'll help it stick. But what you also want to do is take your stem and you want to take some sandpaper and you want to put and groove it in between the sides and also, this is a two piece, but um, anyway, what you would do is groove the inside of this also. That way you've got more rough stuff for your handlebars to stick to, more friction will cause it to not slip. So. That's what you want to do, and then put it back together, tighten it back down, but make sure when you tighten it down that you go, show you here real quick. So you've got your stem top, right? You want to go tighten, 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 until it all gets tightened down evenly, okay? You don't want it tighten too much at the top and too much at the bottom. That will cause your, uh, cause your stem to move. So okay, so... I'd like to thank um, my online community that's been helping me out with, I've been throwing some questions out there, what kind of life hacks you guys got. And um, this one came from, this one came from James Wilkinson. And he said that a lot of people feel like they have to take out their, their tire and remove it just to fix a flat, which really you don't, he's right. Um, all you do is you just take your tire lever and you get the side of it off or you can use a spoon or just something that's not sharp. Don't use a, do not use a, uh, what is it, a screwdriver. Don't use a screwdriver. But see, you just need to take your, your tube and pull it out here. If I can get it out. There we go. Just need to take the tube and pull it out. And of course, you know, if you got a flat somewhere, 
take your patch kit if you got a patch kit with you or if you don't have a patch kit or say you got a patch kit but all you have is you you ran out of patches you can still you can use like a rubber glove you can use like a, a latex glove or something like that and then use that to patch it on there and anyway so you get your patch on there and then all you have to do is line your line your thing back up thing I mean you know your valve stem hole you need to line your valve stem hole back up and then put the rest of the tire in there rest of the tube in the tire sorry Okay, so once you got that done, you line up your tire, get it all straight in there, and then just take your pump and air it back up. Anyway, those are my life hacks. I hope you like this. Uh, hit me up in the comments section down below. Let me know what kind of life hacks you guys got. Um, maybe I'll put it in another video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and peace.